get my fans on me. They dig them up. They do it on the cell. I'm thinking about Trey. I'm finna go dig them up. Before today's video start, I just wanted to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, which is going to be called Guapchi. They offer services for many amounts of games, as you guys can see. They also have great prices for their services, and the service is fast and 100% trusted. So please be sure to check the description down below and check them out. Thank you to Guapchi, and thank you guys so much. Now let's get started with the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles. Okay, come back to you guys with another video. And as you guys see from the title of today's video, I'm about to give you guys an instant 2 million room glitch, and it's basically going to be on the boss Milena. I'm going to teach you guys how to cheat sir after the most recent patch 1.05 now before i even do get started make sure you guys do drop a like on this video and make sure you go into the pin comment down below and join my discord also make sure you guys are checking out today's video sponsor which is guap cheap now with all that being said let's go ahead and get started with the video also before i even get started tell you guys what we're going to be using in this glitch slash cheese i just wanted to say happy 4th of july to everybody i hope everybody is having fun with their families and stuff like that always remember just be safe you're going to drink drink responsibly but i hope everybody has a great 4th of july in general but anyway none of that is all out of the way here's what you guys will be needing for this also anything that you guys see in this video will be in the pinned comment down below so please do keep that in mind but you guys will be needing bloodhounds fang make sure you upgrade it fully to level 10 by this point you guys should have this maxed out you also will need the falling star beast jaw fully upgraded as well and you will be needing the visage shield as you guys can see once again if you don't have any of this stuff just check the description down below well not the description the pin comment down below and it will be there also you guys can throw on shabri's woe well, but once you do uh summon your mimic you also will be needing a mimic tier and i'm pretty sure everybody has a mimic at this point you will be needing a mimic tier as well so please do keep that in mind but in order to use shabri's well you know you will summon your mimic as soon as your mimic is summoned and it is taking aggro from the boss you will just simply take it off but in this video i did not use shabri's well it just works a little better if you do have it on but that's fully up to you but once you guys do have um those four items here's what you guys want to do all right now firstly starting out before you guys even transverse the mist make sure that your shield is in your left hand and your uh blade is in your right hand and then you're going to summon your mimic as you guys see me doing right now once you've summoned your mimic go ahead and heal up your character and allow your mimic to go ahead and take aggro that's basically what you guys want to do as soon as your mimic takes aggro you just want to get a little distance between him and melena like i am right now and at this point what you're going to do is go ahead and just spam 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 the beast claw as you guys can see the special attack that it has on it it will reach melena from any distance almost between uh medium and short range you want to be standing don't go too far out because you won't be in the radius of the move but as you guys can see if you guys are using this move like i'm using it right now and absolutely spamming it you also can put in um the wondrous physics the two green tiers so you can have unlimited stamina as well and as you guys can see phase one was completely a breeze once phase two starts make sure you guys do dodge her little spider move as you guys can see as soon as you dodge it you guys just want to go ahead and spam her out like you guys see me doing right now and just basically stay on her don't give her no chance at all you just want to fight behind your mimic like you guys see me doing right now and your mimic will not die because the shield we have implemented and the blade we have he will take minimum damage um when doing this so please do keep that in mind he will not just go out there and be a bot and die but as you guys can see if you stick to the um cheese and the strategy that i just showed you guys you should have no problem with melena okay now this is kind of ironic that i showed you guys this also make sure that you do take your gold foul pickle flip before defeating her my bad i forgot to tell you guys that but it is also kind of ironic that i showed you guys this because I seen a meme in the Elden Ring community that my friend sent me last night regarding Milena and how I helped a lot of people, um, you know, beat her and defeat her. So I just thought on the 4th of July, I'd just go ahead and give you guys a yet another way to defeat her after the most recent patch fixed the, um, the glitch where you can usually run up that route that I'm standing in front of right now in the video. You can no longer run up that route. So just keep that in mind. This is the new best way to defeat her at the patch 1.05. But yeah, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, have a safe and happy 4th of July. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Don't forget to join my Discord. Also, don't forget to check out Guapchi. It is me, your boy, Charles2K. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.